I was fearful of being tested positive, but I was fearful because I didn't understand what test, being tested positive means. Yeah. When I learned about what te tested positive means, and when I learned that undetectable is untransferable, and the quicker I get on medication, the quicker I'm no longer at risk, the quicker I could get my life back on track. Yeah. And that means now I live an amazing life with a husband who's HIV negative, mm -hmm. and I know for a fact I am no risk yeah. to him. You know, what we're trying to do now is destigmatize so many things um, and stop frightening people. And AIDS is a frightening word. Yeah. Like HIV is, 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 is we're trying it's to- a virus. But it is, it's crazy how it's, um, it's a virus, like many other viruses, you know, it can kill you. Um, but if you get tested early, then you are on medication and you can live a healthy, happy life yeah. and look relatively good looking yeah, even well, after a career of rugby. <laughs> relatively, let's <laughs> uh, relatively, after a bit of work. I'm just bit of work. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, for me, it's realizing that stigma is a real thing. Mm -hmm. Stigma is out there. But a way of breaking stigma yourself is sometimes by looking at other people who have inspired or done things, mm -hmm. but actually learning about what it means to live with HIV now. Mm -hmm. We need to re-educate people to know that where we are now with HIV, it's not a death sentence. Mm -hmm. It's not. And I'm living proof. I would never have done an Ironman if I didn't live with HIV. Mm -hmm. Living with HIV and realizing what I, how I could live my life gave me a renewed look on life. Yep. I meant that every day and to reach a new potential. Mate, yeah, and I haven't even reached it. You know, let's not pretend, right, that being told you're HIV. It's, it's a difficult thing to take, right? And I went, because I didn't have the education. When I was told I had HIV, I thought I was going to die. And sometimes you kind of need to know what it's like to die, to know what it's really like to live. And I'll never forget that moment because it gives me the inspiration to live my life to the maximum every single day but also it gives me the inspiration to make sure that other people who are told that news realize that actually they can have a, they can have a life. We've got H HIV testing week. What is the advice that you would give to anybody out there that is being controlled by fear? Some of my friends would not even consider having an HIV test no. because they weren't part of them communities. And I think, you know, being here at a rugby ground, being here, with you is a case of people realizing everybody needs to know their status and even even more so i guess those that aren't in the at, at risk groups because then we can normalize testing and make it easier for those that are that are fearful that are scared of course understandably yeah. so to, to come forward yeah de definitely i think you know we do so much around like our health you know we'll go to the dentist we'll go to the doctors we look after ourselves. When it comes to sexual health testing, for some reason there's this stigma and there's fear about it. Yeah. And there shouldn't be. And the more people that do it, the more normal it becomes, then the more, I say, everybody from every walk of life, every community yeah. will do it. I believe in what you're doing. It's amazing. Top man. Wow. Legs. Well done, buddy. Top man. Well Cheers, bud.